Hello YouTube. So the other day I decided to have an idea and write it all down. So uh, I kind of play guitar and I like to get, you know, as much different effects as possible. And so I decided I could make my own effect. So I have a Raspberry Pi and and I thought maybe I could modify that Pi to be a guitar effect. So I created this idea for the Raspberry Pi to control uh, an expression input. So I have a ring modulator right here. And this ring modulator is quite interesting all by itself. So I have a couple of presets I'd like to show. <laughs> here that sounds quite nice and uh, there are several options here and you can dial in a couple of knobs but I thought okay so there is an expression input and that's quite interesting to use and I don't really want an expression pedal but I want to control it digitally so I created this effect on a Raspberry Pi that has a sawtooth or um, uh, a triangle wave and a rising and falling sawtooth, a tangential wave, a square sine wave, and a random sort of choice. And so I defined a couple of knobs. So I created this circuit here. It has a MCP 4131, has a digital pot meter, and also a MCP. 32.02 for uh, pot meter inputs and it has a six way switch and a foot switch and some LEDs so then I created this uh, circuit on a you know a, a generic circuit board so I have the result right here I don't know if you can see that that's the result. Okay, so I have these pot meters right here and then the selector switch uh, which can select six way six modes or six options. In this case I made it so that these pot meters they will be tuning different settings while the selector switch is, uh, is moved. So I have a bypass or FX switch and in bypass mode you can select a single uh, resistance or and it will be directly coupled so this is a 10k pot and the output will also be 0 to 10k or about 0 to 10k so here you can see I can dial in and out and the next thing is when I press this button the effect goes on. I can select from all these modes, so you have a uh, triangle wave, saw wave, square wave, tangential wave, etc. But first I wanna set the first I wanna set the baseline. Then I'll select deviation. You can immediately hear some sort of effect started. And then when I go back to selecting modes, I can dial that in and out. So this is the triangle mode. Rising it. And falling saw. 
This is a tangential. Square wave. And the next thing is the random mode, which selects between all of those waves and just makes it random. Oh wait, I actually forgot sine wave. nice sine wave and then this random mode So then you also have the option to select the speed at which it goes. Even uh, right now you can hear that the uh, Raspberry Pi is selecting different bits and so it shuts and shuts off and opens transistors to to make the resistive letter change and you can really hear that sound when it's slower. It's not really a pure sine wave anymore. But that makes it so cool. Uh, modulated tremolo kind of sound just like that options to make with this guitar effect and uh, I think it's really cool that it all of a sudden had worked because sometimes you're not lucky and sometimes you are in this case yeah <laughs> pretty much I'm lucky so you see those LEDs on the outside right here I didn't put them in because that is really tough to get them in and I'll do that on the final step so I still have to put some heat shrink around them and uh, that's gonna make it uh, very nice all in all. So um, <clears throat> these LEDs are supposed to show which preset is chosen or if there's no preset chosen then they'll they'll be off. So that's similar to this guitar effect here. The only difference is this guitar effect will have six presets so you can have six modes or options all of a sudden dialed in and then you can save it with the foot switch and when the switch is all the way on the right and so you can also load it with uh, the second last uh, mode on the switch here and then load the presets by dialing through them with the foot switch and I'll still have to program that so <laughs> yeah first I wanted to make uh, more options so probably I want to add a second wave form which goes through the first waveform so you have for example a sine wave with occasionally a square wave through it or something like that 